So for the last two years, I've been working on a Asus Stuff F15 laptop for all my work in Unreal Engine and Blender. And while this laptop is great, by the way, because it has an RTX 3066 GB and 32 GB DDR5 RAM, it also kind of holds me back at times because of certain limitations. Now, to be honest, I got this laptop as I had to travel a lot and this laptop works perfectly as a mini portable slash workstation. But making big projects on this laptop is a struggle. With that said, I do think that I have enough suggestions, advices, and pretty much some strong tips that will help you to find the best laptop or PC configuration for your project. So without any further ado, let's begin. So I'm not going to waste much time of yours and I'm going to give you the most important information that you need in order to keep in mind which configuration you should go for in order to get the most performance out of your 3D program. And so the first suggestion that I have is for the CPU. And in case of CPU, I will specifically suggest you that in case of Intel, go for i7-12700K and in case of laptop version of the same, you should go for i7-12700H in lab. Now there's a very specific reason as to why I'm not suggesting Intel's 13th and 14th generation CPUs. Both the 13th and 14th generation CPUs have shown many issues in terms of overheating and even some CPUs frying themselves. And while I do not know the exact reasons behind this, I think there was some production line fault. The Intel is not going to give you warranty on most of these issues. and so. This video is aimed at making, you know, PC configurations for people who might not upgrade as often. And so in this video, I'm not going to make any risks and I'm going to give you the best suggestions that are going to last long and will give you the performance that you need. And so for that, Intel i7-12700K or i7-12700H or to be honest, Intel's 12th generation processors in general are the best choice for this one. Now on the AMD side of things, you can go with the Ryzen 7 5700X and Ryzen 7 70 700x one thing is that we will not go for ryzen's x 3d processors since they are mostly better for higher end gaming and not so much for 3d as to be honest in 3d most of the heavy lifting is going to be done by your gpu on the 3d part anyway so we'll leave the cpus to be the best ones for simulation etc now do keep in mind that while i've suggested you very specific generation of these intel cpus i will suggest that if you have to go higher just go with amd like if i'm being honest go with amd if you want to go for a higher generation and steer away from the 13th and 14th generation Intel processors because they have consistently shown many issues. Now I'm not saying that if any one of you has that it's bad. The CPUs itself are not bad. The problem is with the reliability of the CPUs and you should not take unnecessary risks. So yeah, definitely if you want to go for higher, go within the AMD bracket. Now talking about the RAM of your PC, contrary to the popular belief, you can actually do a lot with 16 GB RAM, especially cause Blender is kind of very efficient with its RAM consumption and so is Maya. But that's only talking about these very traditional 3D softwares. And if I had to suggest you an ideal RAM amount, then go for 32 GB at least, especially if you are working with Unreal Engine or Unity. The thing is that Unreal Engine honestly eats RAM for breakfast and even 32 GB can be less than ideal for large sceneries in Unreal Engine overall. So yeah, while 16 GB won't hurt as much, 32 GB is going to be better and if you have the money to to swear, then just go for 64 GB, which is the amount that most professionals use in their PC. Although I've been using a PC myself and to be honest, in both my PC and laptop, I have had only 32 GB RAM myself and so far I have not faced any major issues. But still, in the world where Chrome and Windows somehow use 6 GB RAM, you'll need the extra space for Unreal to work well. Another thing that you need to keep in mind about the RAM is the type of the RAM and the speed of the RAM. And for the speed, you should ideally go for 6000 megahertz and for the ram type i would recommend you go with ddr5 just for future proofing you can actually work a lot with ddr4 as well but generally speaking ddr5 is going to keep your pc much more future proof now the final and probably the most expensive part of your pc or the laptop is its gpu now here is where things get interesting for these you need to keep in mind that now more than ever unreal engine blender maya or even houdini started to eat vram like a 
starving man on the brink of death. Especially Unreal Engine which literally eats VRAM like crazy cause of its high texture resolution etc. And so if we talk about laptop, RTX 3060 with 6GB VRAM while is honestly enough for most cases, it's not going to be enough anymore especially in 2025 if you are practicing Unreal Engine. Now yes, you can do a lot with RTX 3060, in fact I have the RTX 3060 laptop but ideally we actually are lucky that the RTX 4060 or 4070 laptops come with 8GB VRAM. And so when we talk about on the laptop side of things, you can actually go with the RTX 40 series laptops because you will mostly get 8GBs of VRAM. Now being very honest, 8GBs of VRAM is still not going to be enough for Unreal Engine but in case of laptop, it's already asking a lot and 8GB of VRAM will actually give you a lot of capability to do a lot of things very well. 8GB size will more or less ensure that you don't face too many high of lags and stutters while using Unreal Engine and for the blender you can actually go with 6GB VRAM as well but ideally in today's world you should go for 8GB anyway. Now the reason I'm not going to discuss those super high-end laptops with 16GB VRAM etc is cause they are just ridiculously expensive and honestly not worth the money. Also in case of laptops you do need to keep in mind that the more money you spend the less performance increments you get. It's sort of like diminishing returns. So yeah you don't want to buy any GPU above 4060 or 4070 in case of performance gains you are not going to get much out of those. So yeah ideally don't go for those GPUs that are in the 80 series even in a 5080 or 4080 because yeah the performance increments are again minimal. Now in case of laptop I did not suggest you an AMD graphics card and the simple reason for that is because firstly AMD is not very well optimized for professional work and secondly because AMD in case of laptops doesn't give you as much of a bump in your VRAM and so you will not actually get any significant advantage one way or the other if you went for an AMD graphics card in laptop. With that said, things do get interesting when we talk about PC because in case of PC, AMD does give you a lot of VRAM options. Now, even in case of PC, ideally I would suggest that you should go for a version of 3060 that has 16 GB VRAM or 4060 with 16 GB VRAM because you have the option to do so. and those would be ideally the best budget builds yet that you can get for Unreal Engine and Blend because you will get a lot of VRAM which is going to give you a lot of leg room to make you know large scenery but at the same time if you do have the budget to spare in case of AMD you can actually buy 7900 XTX. You can actually look up how fast 7900 XTX is and that GPU is almost at par 3080 in terms of raw rendering performance in Blender as well and so yeah 7900 XTX is a really good GPU for the price that you can get it for especially in the second hand market. And currently in my case I'm rocking a RTX 39 which is another great option if you want to go for But if you have the money to spare in case of PC, go for 24 GB of VRAM because why not? You will get it and it will be much more cheap than getting a laptop of the same capability. And in case of PC, if you have to go for some cheaper options, then go for 3060 or 4060 with 16 GB of VRAM. Do keep in mind that the raw rendering performance, while it does matter in terms of your you know general viewport navigation, I would still suggest that don't focus on raw rendering as much because let's be honest here, after you have made a project, it's less likely that you will sit through the rendering process watching and patiently waiting for it to finish. So yeah, just go for a GPU that has more VRAM because that will ideally give you a lot of legroom to big you know build big sceneries etc so yeah so those were the recommendations that i wanted to give you about the pc building or in general if you're going to buy a laptop just keep in mind the configuration uh, recommendations that i have given you ideally in case of ram keep in mind that you should have 32 gb of ram in case of a uh, processor go for intel's 12th generation or ryzen 5th generation and in case of gpu you should go for 30 series uh, rtx 3060 6 gb in case of a laptop although i would suggest that you go for 8 GB VRAM in case of 4060 laptop if you have to work with Unreal Engine because 8 GB is just better. And in case of PC, go for 16 GB VRAM. And yes, if you have the budget to spare, then you can definitely go for higher versions. But yeah, ideally don't go any lower than the recommendations that I have given you because already these softwares are very expensive on your hardware and you do need kind of a pretty good hardware in terms of size and raw rendering to actually make the most out of your project. So with that said, I hope you have a good one.